through it. So, bad boy, the deal was seventy five hundred dollars for everybody. Yeah, let's get let's get into the juicy part because it's all real and it's all documented. 70- wait, ha- wait, wait, wait. How many members was it? I just told you, shit. Six. Seventy five hundred dollars. Six members, we split seventy five hundred. Not seventy five thousand, not seven hundred and fifty thousand, not seven million point five hundred thousand, seven thousand five hundred and US dollars. That's twelve fifty a piece. You got it, buddy. I like your math. Let me check my math. Let me see it. Yeah, we got the same thing. So you got them to restructure the deal? Yes. By me being business savvy and um um and, and noticing, you know what I mean, the familiar language in those contracts, I knew it wasn't just it just wasn't adding up right. Definitely the number didn't add up right. So I was signed to a production deal prior to me signing with Bad Boy. I never was directly signed to Bad Boy. I always had a buffer in between to keep me away from the actual monster and the, and the, the mother label. I always came in as a boss. So it was structured as a partnership, not me just being signed an artistry deal. So with that being said, I always had somebody there to to always be able to um, keep me business minded. So when I signed that contract, I was familiar with the language. When, so when I seen a big contract from the major label, I just knew didn't, it just didn't add up right. So you know, I asked them to go back and renegotiate, took it to my lawyer. We made the changes and they upped the money. And the other five people, they were just going to sign off on it. They was going to rock out with it. Then after the album come out and we got disbanded, we was offering a deal for 300K for a publishing deal. So we would get 50K a piece, but all of us had to sign it. It was a structured deal. It was like a ladder ladder deal where everybody had to, I sign it, you sign it, I sign it. Yay, we get the bread. Yeah. <laughs> but Ness didn't sign it. So niggas was mad at me for a long time. So I was the black sheep through all those eras. For me not just rushing and signing the contract initially for the bad boy contract and me not rushing, jumping out of my fucking grave and signing the um, publishing deal that was put on, you know what I'm saying, on the table. And some of these things may be saying be cat and some of the things he's saying be true. It's actually Janice Combs Publishing Company that the publishing company is, 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 is up under. So when you do business with bad boy, certain companies other than bad boy that you do business with. So the publisher came... Publishing deal came through Janice Combs Publishing. But I believed in myself 100%, 110% at that time in me and my pen game that I just would retain my merchandising and my publishing. And, and, and you know, because I felt as though that I, I could be a bigger, um, bigger impact with being a writing force instead of just giving up way on my publishing rights my second year in show business. Let's get into it.